hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how you can achieve responsiveness using media query inside your flutter application so this is our responsive layout screen as you can see and we have our application running in this web this is our mobile view as i can increase it will increase the screen size okay so let's start so uh, what we can do is we can simply have our body as of now and here we have to get our view that is let's suppose container we'll give it a color colors dot red if i am saving the application Okay, uh, we will have this red container inside our application as you can see but what we will do is we want to get the width that is the full width so how we can do is we can simply use the screen width let's suppose we will get inside our build now this is our build okay now let's say if we have our screen width so we have it in our double screen width is equal to our media query dot of context dot size dot width now this will give you our screen width let's print the width let's say our screen width dot to string now as you can see if we have 492 pixels as i'm increasing we are getting different screen width according to our screen applic size right so what we can do is i will simply remove this okay and we have let's suppose full if we want to show for mobile that is if it is mobile then that is equal to if the screen width is less than 600 pixels similarly if it is tablet then the screen width is less than 1200 similarly if it is web then the screen width is greater than 1200 so this will give us the width and we will show our view if it is mobile if it is tablet or if it is web okay so let's create a widget first let's suppose we will create a widget let's say we are building a box okay and we will return a container okay so as a container we will provide a let's say box decoration we'll give it a color and we'll take the color from the user itself okay and we will give it the color over here let's give it some border radius circular of let's say 20 and we have the border radius this is our container and we will give it a child let's say text let's say we will take the text from the user as well okay so let's say string 
text okay and here we will have our text let's give it a style of text style of let's give it a font size of let's say 18 and we will give a color of colors dot white okay we will save the application let's try our build box widget we will give as let's say box one and we'll give it a colors of colors dot red as we had seen earlier we'll save the application and we have our box one which of color box red so as you can see but it is not taking the full height and weight of the application so let's wrap it inside a widget called expanded so what it will do is, is it will take all the space available inside our application okay so now what we can do to show the responsiveness we have a widget called layout builder okay so layout builder what it takes basically it takes the constraint context and the constraint okay and here what we can write is if it is mobile we will return a widget for let's say mobile widget okay similarly suppose if it is tablet then what we will return tablet widget similarly else if it is web then we will return let's say web widget okay or else what we can do is we can simply show the our build box widget which is this we'll give it text of let's say box one and the colors start red okay so now what we will do is we will simply have a widget of our mobile widget which will return uh, let's say if it is mobile we will show it in a column so we have our column here similarly let's say if it is our tablet then we will show it in a row okay so row so now we have different widgets for our mobile tablet and if it's web we will simply going to show the box okay and we will else we will simply return a sized box okay let's save the application so we have hot reloaded our application so as you can see currently it's in the mobile widget so nothing to show here but if i'm increasing the size as you can see we have our box one right so box one that is our build box widget right so what we will do is we will basically remove this expanded widget
and now we will check if check how our application is showing so we have our box one let's design for our column as well inside children we will have our build box widget remove the const we will give it text as box1 let's give it a colors dot red then we will have our size box with uh, let's say a height of 20 then again we will have our bell box with a box 2 and color start let's say blue we will again have a size box with a height of 20 and another our build box which let's say box number three colors dot orange okay so we will save the app and here as you can see we have our box number one two three what we will do is we can simply change our box view a little bit let's say we'll have our alignment of alignment dot center and we will wrap our widget with expanded as earlier so now we have all our boxes expanded and it aligned in the center the widget is aligned in the center so as you can see our application is in the mobile view so hence we are having our mobile widget visible in our application similarly let's write for the tablet widget as well we'll have our children we'll remove the const We will take the same belt boxes widget. Okay, and here we will have our size box with a width of 20 because it's a row. Okay, size box width of 20, and let's save it as it hot restarts now let's check our application so as you can see now our application in the is in the mobile view as i'm expanding it's in the tablet view and again i'm if i'm expanding we are in the web view again like this mobile view so with the help of media query we are getting the screen width and every time when it builds we will get the width and according to the pixels we are showing with the help of layout builder different widgets according to our layout so this is how you can use media query inside your application to show responsive widgets inside your flutter application hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos and see you in the next video